Hi guys, and welcome to my channel, Ron's Weight Loss Journey, and I'm Ron. Well, if you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps other members know when we post the latest video. That way, there you'll get my latest results, like uh, this video. And before we get started, I'd like to state that I'm not a medical doctor. I don't make any medical claims. This is all based on my own personal journey and my own personal research and clearing it from my doctor first and continue to see my doctor on a regular basis to, to make sure I'm in uh, compliance with the, uh, my blood work and everything else that needs to be uh, cleared out uh, before you start a journey. And I would suggest doing the same so you'll be successful like I am. Well, today is the... Uh, and the week 58 keto results and uh, I wanted to share some good news with you guys and uh, what we did for this past week and what we did this past week so today's video topic is closer than ever and boy do I really mean that I, I'm 38 pounds away from getting to my maintenance weight I started my weight loss journey on August 17 2020 at 325 pounds and uh, Back in January last year, 2020, I was 336 pounds. So as to date, I lost 117 pounds. But on my journey, as of this morning, I weighed myself on uh, September 27th on the Monday, and I was 218 pounds, yeah, 218.6. So I lost like a total of uh, six pounds on my uh, egg fast. We did it, we did, yeah, we had an egg fast this week. We did a five day egg fast. I'm going to be going over my notes and let you know how we did and what we ate and uh, what we did for activity this past week. And, uh, you know, you might find it pretty interesting if you uh, want to follow me along. You might see a little bit of a reflection from my lighting here because I'm on a green screen behind me. And I got my two window shades open right now to draw in some more light. It's just the way green screen works. It'll, it'll, my, and my glasses pick up a lot of reflection. So I hope that's not an issue for you guys. But anyways, my name is Ron. Welcome. I'm just going to get comfortable in my chair. I got my notes. I always write down my notes, what I did, and like kind of like a diary. So I started the week off on uh, Monday last Monday, as a matter of fact, at 224 pounds. I was just kind of like disappointed because at that point, I hadn't lost any weight for the month. And uh, I said, well, let's try an egg fast. And I was kind of eating some carbs here and there. So I... Uh, Okay, so let's try another egg fast. So I went on a five-day egg fast with a two-day period of a transitioning over the carbs. And I would suggest to your homework, like I did regarding egg fast, but it's not, egg fast is pretty much simple. It's pretty much uh, eggs, butter, and cheese. I mean, how simple can it be? And I was doing typically between six and eight eggs a day, and uh, I was changing it up every day just to be different because I can't eat plain eggs anymore with just butter and cheese. It's, they're, they're bland, they're boring, and there's no, and after having so many eggs, I feel like I'm going to be turning into a chicken and start cluckling uh, uh, pretty soon here, if that's the word I'm looking for. But, uh, yeah, so, um, anyways, that's pretty much simple on the egg fast rules, and you have to really, like I said, do your research. Uh, Keto Rewind's got a number of videos out there on egg fast. Steffi from the Incredible Shrink and Steffi, uh, she has a lot of uh, great YouTube videos about there. She's done a lot of stuff for the mom, and, and uh, you know, I'm constantly, constantly, constantly checking videos to make sure I'm doing it right. And, you know, that's why I've been very, very successful. And you, you kind of really, really have to do your homework. That's basically what it's all about. Just like when you went to school, do your homework if you want to be successful in life. So, um, so let's get started. So day one, I weighed 224 pounds. I made uh, hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. I did, made eight of them for the, to have something to snack on for the week. I did it using the 555 method, and I'll, I'll link below the video if you want to watch it. I, I have one I had put up a while back ago, but that's a, that was when I first started doing recipes. I drank 64 ounces of water. We walked pretty much close to the usual places that we usually walk the Doyle Estate, the Sholem Farms, Doyle Field. A lot of street walking, a lot of street walking. Uh, so day one ended Monday, and I would say it was a very successful day. After all the water we drank, we we, we were just kind of like whooshing it all out of me uh, from the cobs from the week before. And uh, yeah, so I had a really good day. I would say uh, I didn't know if day one was going to be a success until the next day. So Tuesday comes rolling along, day two, weighed myself, I was 221 pounds, so I lost three pounds of uh, the bloat from the week before, and I would say it was a success from the day before, so one home, oh, okay, this is funny. 
So I had the nutty idea to make a waffles with blueberries. So I bought a small thing of blueberries and I did the uh, traditional waffle uh, recipe with almond flour, eight eggs, and uh, black and cream cheese. One tablespoon of, uh, teaspoon of uh, baking powder, pinch of salt, um, and then I added in, I folded in the blueberries and what a, oh man, what a mess. I, I had, it took me like three hours to clean up the uh, waffle maker. I mean, they were really, really good, but it, it was just, got me th rethinking about the blueberries and uh, I had a lot of people uh, qu not question the, uh, my method for egg fasting, but I just, you know, I wanted to do something different and, I, and, I, and I, this is how I do things, I constantly change it up. Remember what Jess always says, you do you. And uh, so they were absolutely delicious, but they weren't pretty to look at. But uh, the rule of thumb is if I want blueberries on pancakes or waffles, I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna uh, put them in a small saucepan and I'm gonna make them into a little bit of a puree and then I'm gonna eat it that way because I'm not gonna go through that messy cleanup again or just eat them on plain on the side. Blueberries are perfectly fine by the way for keto. There's a certain amount of berries you can have, a certain amount of fruit that you're not really supposed to have because of the high carbs and the, the uh, sugar in that's a lot, in a lot of this fruit. So you just kind of have to do your own research if you're, if you're, if you're new like my friend Sally is. Uh, Please, please do your homework on the fruits and vegetables. Uh, if, when you, especially when you're new on keto, there it's okay to you know you know still eat some of the processed meats and all that, and and just slowly, slowly, slowly eliminate the, the bad foods in your house to replacing them with the better foods. And, that, and that's what I did when I first started my ketogenic lifestyle. I couldn't just get rid of all the food because you know we're on tight limited income like most everybody is, and I I, I had to. Um, you know, slowly replace them with the better, healthier foods. You know, I make everything from scratch. I, I buy everything fresh when I can. And, and you know, it's been a win-win situation for me. And, and uh, you know, and I hope this will help you going forward. So, um, oh yeah, day two also, we drank 64 ounces of water. We walked about three miles Tuesday and we felt absolutely terrific on Tuesday. Okay, so day three. So it was 221 point zero pounds on day two. Tuesday I came in, I weighed in at 221.1, so I, I gained like a half of a fraction of a pound, but that was no big deal, but the point of it is the weight stayed off on the day uh, two to day three. I felt really terrific on uh, day three, so I went down to the gym, option one, talked, I had a nice long talk with my friend Kelly over there, the manager up there, I was asking her about the Johnny Appleseed Festival this past Saturday, if she was gonna put up a booth this year, and. Yeah, she did, and I uh, and I'll talk about that when I get to Saturday, and and uh, I I mean I'm just having a time of my life right, right now. I, I am so so happy right now. So day two we did that, and then um, that was actually day three uh, that we went to the gym, and then we had uh, leftover hot boiled eggs. We made some shackles, and we made some double eggs, and uh, on the double eggs I just put um took the egg yolk and I put a few tablespoons of mayonnaise and actually I did like four, three tablespoons of mayonnaise, a little bit of Dijon mustard and I put a little bit of uh, a pickle juice in it from uh, the pickle juice we have and I mixed it all in and I, and I used that for an inside filling for the eggs with a little bit of uh, pecorico on the top for the flavor and for the color and yeah those are really great. I suggest trying that sometimes. You, so day uh, three uh, was a success. So then day four, uh, weighed in 221.9, didn't lose anything overnight, and uh, so I was okay with that. So what did I do for meal for day four? I made waffles on the uh, waffle maker on the uh, mini dash, and how I made those waffles, I took uh, eight eggs, a block of cream cheese. I uh, did some, uh, I added a little bit of uh, sugar-free maple syrup, and then I, uh, some cinnamon, and. Uh, bacon powder, and blended it well together, and then I made them in a mini dash, and it came out absolutely the best. And then I got, out of eight eggs, I got like 12, so I ate six in the morning and six in the afternoon, well, late in the afternoon, I ate it about mid-morning. I fast till around 11 or 12, and then I started eating, and then I cut it off at seven. And I've been doing that ever since I started my keto diet and uh, weight loss uh, lifestyle. I don't like to call the uh, ketogenic lifestyle as a diet. A diet is like depriving yourself of food, and I don't, I don't want to fill us up with the depriving ourselves or anything. We're really not. All we're doing is just changing the way we're eating from what we're so used to. And uh, 
it's been very, 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 very successful uh, for me. Anyways, I hope this can help you guys. So, um, and that was uh, day. Four. I think where I am now. Okay, so that was day four. That was on a Thursday. Thursday I filmed out in the Mia show on Thursday night. Um, drank my water and I went walking again at Shoulder Farms. Really had a great day. Uh, okay, so day five is the final day of the A-Fast. I weighed in at 219 pounds, so I lost two more pounds uh, over the uh, since a couple, since Wednesday to Friday. So I ended uh, five pounds, and I'm oh wow, that's really great, and all that stuff there. And then I made uh, some uh, couple of shaffles out of that my easy peasy shaffle recipe and then I made some chicken patties and uh, got some chicken breasts and uh, sliced them up paper thin and I had a little bit of almond flour on them and then crushed them in the frying pan and it came out really delicious and, and I used an egg wash for the uh, for the binder and uh, yeah so they, I mean these recipes guys are really really easy to make um, so we had that and we were fine with that and then uh, I put a little bit of mayonnaise on it to top it off and uh, those are really, really delicious. And, oh, and that was uh, that was Friday. Friday I was gonna go to Bingo, but then I got a call and somebody asked me if I could film a concert in the city of Lemister and at City Hall. It was called the Stage Works of Lemister, and you know, oh yeah, I so said we'll pay you and everything like that. And again, boy, boy no money's rolling my way from the concert filming, and I'm, you know, I'm still editing the video, but I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. And if nothing happens out of this, then then. Don't become knocking at my door anymore because I'm not walking. I'm not doing anything anymore for free, guys. That's it. You know, I mention this every one of my videos, and I'm totally sick of it. And uh, so, yeah. So, um, so and then uh, we did that. My wife went to Bingo Friday night. She didn't win anything. And uh, so we had a real good day Friday. Uh, and uh, the, before we get to Saturday, um, so now that my weight's down to 219 pounds and I'm under 220 for the first time in 50 years, I had a, uh, one job interview uh, a week ago. I decided to take a job at Hannaford's to go in the city of Lemister. And it's about 20, 28 hours a week. And uh, they're perfectly fine with those hours. And uh, so I, my feel, I feel as if now is time is for me to return back to work on a limited part-time basis and who knows maybe later on maybe full-time but um for the first time in 50 years guys my, my back was very i got zero zero pain in my back i still have some leg issues my leg gives out on me every now and then because i got the nerve damage in my l4 and my l5 but it's going to get better i just got to be patient like the, with the weight loss but I am so happy, I'm so excited, um, I'm going to at least try it, if I can't do it, then I'll just tell them, you know, I can't do it, it's too much for me, or I can't figure it out, I know I get frustrated, and, but yeah, so that was day five, and that was Friday, so then, then Saturday rolls around, well, Saturday we have something in our city of Lemons to call the Johnny Appleseed Festival, and that's been shut down last year with the virus, and this is the 29th uh, festival that we have in our city. And what typically what happens is they, sh they completely shut down the downtown area from uh, maybe about four or five streets. And uh, a lot of vendors set up tents. They have apple crisp and they have live music all day long from nine o'clock to five. And it, this, uh, it, it, was, it's, it was just a great day. The city in Lemister was so blessed to have great weather. It was about 75, it was bright, sunny. It was, it was perfect day. It wasn't too hot, it was, it was just right. Uh, and, uh, you know, I kind of talked to a lot of people that knew me, a lot of people that hadn't seen me in a while, was surprised at all the weight I lost. I saw my friend Dion up there I met her last year at Shown Farm. She's a really nice lady. She had three kids, and I felt so bad for her last year. She, she was, when I met her, she was really, really in a bad way, but she seemed like she, she lost some weight, and I was really happy for her. And, you know, when you got kids like that, and, you know, you want to get healthy for them, if not even for yourself, but... The thing of it is, guys, you have to get healthy. Uh, we got a virus out there, and you, you have to get healthy. And the other thing about the virus I want to mention, I'm, I'm not living my life in fear anymore for the virus. I'm going out. If I have to wear the mask in the store, that's fine. But when I'm out on the street, unless somebody's going to stop me and arrest me, I'm not wearing that mask because I'm not living my life in fear anymore. I don't need to leave. I never did. I, look, I believe in God, and I believe in Jesus, and that, all that matters to me. And if you believe in that, and if you, even if you don't believe in uh, 
spiritual faith, believe in yourself, because this thing's going to go away eventually, you know? You can't live your life to fear all your life, all right? It's just typically what I wanted to say. So getting back to the Johnny Appleseed Festival, um, so a lot of you know that I uh, volunteer for our local access station, Lemister Access, Te Access Television, and I've been doing this for like, like seven to ten years now. And uh, so typically when they ask me to film something, I'm usually right there helping them. And I, I'm, I'm a volunteer, and I, I would never want to get, get payment from, this, from them, but outside that, yeah. But, um, you know, they were looking for somebody to go, they wanted to do a live one-hour broadcast, and uh, all they had to do was grab a hold of their microphone, my friend Mary, and walk around and interview different, you know, boots and people and introduce myself and and as uh, Ron and Mary and, you know, that were here at, with Lemon Stacks' television and asking them a little bit about what their business is all about. And, and I absolutely had a ball in my time in life. It was so, it was so fun. And, and uh, you see, who knows, maybe I may have another career in broadcasting, but, uh, you know, it's just fun giving back and helping out now and then. But like I said, I just, with the videoing and stuff like that, I just feel as people are trying to get, take too much of an advantage of me. And so when I, when I think when I stop making, so I gotta make some new uh, business cards and my video art, he's not gonna be on there anymore. And uh, maybe, maybe I'll put down just photography because I'm, I'm still, I still haven't got my camera yet. I've been pricing them and I'm really careful what I wanna buy. I went down to Best Buy this morning to take a look at one and the mirrorless camera that I thought about I wanted to get, I decided not to get it because I don't think I'd be happy with it. And uh, do I, what do I really need a mirrorless camera for? I just need something that's gonna be simple, point and shoot that I can have an easy time. And, my, and here's what happened Saturday. The camera that I was using, almost every one of my images were out of focus and they were too blurry and I couldn't use them. And I was so disgusted. And uh, so yeah, and then, uh, so yeah, Friday, the, the uh, same thing over there with the City Hall, the, the uh, stage coat, the stage work uh, band, they were marvelous. Uh, they were a local uh, group in Lemister and they played opera and they played a lot of different uh, songs and I really made a good contact with them. But like I said, you know, you know, you know, they, they charge so much for people to get in. There's no reason why they can't pay me a little bit out of that. So if that doesn't happen with them, it's fine, it's fine. But don't be calling me for another gig because I'm not doing it. Find somebody else. It's that simple. And uh, so what else did we do? Saturday? That was Saturday. Um, Okay, the old, oh, you want to know how I did on my way, and I forgot almost to tell you the good part. So, I waited in sa Saturday morning, and then, um, I was 218 pounds. I was so happy, and uh, I was holy crowly, I lost six pounds for my egg fast. My body's right back in the ketosis, and I'm so happy, I'm so excited. And, uh, and when I waited Monday morning, I weighed myself this morning, I was still 218 pounds so so it wasn't just the bloat that went away it was a good solid six pounds and I'm, back, I'm right back on track and i feel absolutely dynamite we got some overcast clouds coming in this afternoon but i might wind up over a walk show the bombs afternoon i'm thinking of yesterday my wife and i we went up to the Doyle estate for about an hour right after the patriots were getting crushed again yesterday and my red sox got lost again last night uh, so that was week 59, 58, and uh, so we had six pound eight well, weight loss for the egg fast. I'm all down with my notes, I'll put them down. And uh, so it, it was a real successful journey with the way I, with the uh, egg fast. And um, like I said, I'm happy to be going back to work this Friday. I have to go in for a three hour orientation, and then she'll set up a, a schedule of me off for hours for me. And basically, my job function is going to be to uh, put together orders with people doing online order. And uh, something I can handle, something that I wanted to do. I turned down two job offers to get this one, and, uh, and it's close. It's the closest store from where I live, and it's walking distance if I want to walk. And I, I wanted a job where I could be on my feet all day, and I could get plenty of walking and exercise, and then I'll get to know the products in the store. And. Uh, I can bring home anything fresh I want on sales, you know, as they start getting money from there. And uh, so for me, it's a good win-win situation for them, you know, because uh, I told her about my weight loss journey and she said, well, I don't know if you knew this, but we have a nutritionist here and I want you to make contact with her and tell you how you lost your weight. Maybe you and her can get together and do some recipes and stuff like that. Maybe I can even film them out and share them. 
And, uh, you know, it's going to be, a, this is going to be a win-win situation for me. And, and the money part of it is just to have extra money because I went down to Best Buy's this morning. I was eyeballing some camera stuff. And it's very expensive. I, I mean, I mean, I, I can get financing, but I got to make sure I get a job to pay for it. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of just jumping on the gun and ordering it, I'm going to wait next week to make sure I'm going to be okay with the job and then after that then I'll probably just go ahead and order one and uh, I should be good to go the rest of the way and uh, yeah so I'm very very happy and I'm very very excited about it and uh, I can't thank everybody enough like I said I'm pain free for the first time in, 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 in over 30 years I just can't get over it it was just all the weight that was causing all my issues so um, yeah so what do we got going forward um, we're going to go just basically regular keto food because we're running low on food and cash before the end of the month. And I still got to do another grocery order in the next couple of days so you can carry me over to the 14th when you manage check. And uh, that's what I deal with every month. And I don't like living like this because it, it's, uh, you know, you know, it's just too tough on us with the economy right now. Every time I go in, the food prices are higher and higher. And, and until things get turned around, I, I mean, I don't know. But... Um, it's going to get worse before it gets better, so just be aware of that, you know. But, um, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say. But remember, if you're new to my YouTube channel, my YouTube family, welcome. And uh, could you like and subscribe to my channel? Don't forget to check out uh, Steffi from The Incredible Shrinking Steffi. She has a Facebook support group called The Shrinkables and uh, her YouTube channel, The Incredible Shrinking Steffi. Now, I got a Facebook support group called Rod's Weight Loss Journey Support. And if you're a new YouTuber, you're welcome to share your videos to my uh, Facebook posts or any videos regarding weight loss. But I don't promote weight loss drugs, just so you don't know. And, uh, you know, we get along just fine. And I'd like to thank Jess from the Keto Rewind. Uh, she's a little bit tight on her uh, videos. You can't share any links and all that. And, you know, I, you know and I can understand that. And, uh, and it was a private Facebook group. And, you know, you have to be invited to join it. And... Uh, you know, I'm glad I found her because, you know, her and Steffi, I, I lost a lot of weight, you know, following those two young ladies. So I, I just can't thank you girls enough. And and every now and then when I share a new link or find a new link on YouTube, I'll share it over to my Facebook support group to help you guys out. But if you got any questions about anything, please don't hesitate to ask. And I'm and putting this out as an invitation. If, you see, if you're watching this video and you want to... Um, if you're on Facebook and you want to friend me, just tell me, Ron, I saw you on YouTube or, or you saw you on on a Facebook post. Can you please accept me as a friend? Because a lot of times I'll accept somebody <clears throat> and they'll get mad at me for why did you accept me as a friend? Why did you invite me as a friend? And I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't create issues with people. So, you know, just be, I'm respectable for you and you'll be respectable for me and we'll get along just fine. But yeah, I guess that's all I got to say. Now I got to edit the video and I still got to edit the uh, video that I shot Friday night. And, uh, you know, like I said, going forward, just going to continue doing lots and lots of walking this week and going out there every day and getting a lot of good exercise. And uh, remember to enjoy your day. Try to stay healthy. Love you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you for supporting me. Have a great week.